So Monday makeup this week is the transition from a daytime look to a nighttime look. So myself and Josie have already completed our daytime look. Mine consists of Heliocare as my base, so a tinted SPF. I've done my brows, I've put on a light dusting of powder to set it all in place, and I've added a bit of mascara. Josie, what have you done? So I have got on a really light foundation. I've got on the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder, which is like a nice light dewy um, uh, foundation. And then I've gone in with my bronzer just to really warm my skin. And the same as you, I've just done my brows with my Refi brow gel and then a little bit of my legendary brows, which just adds a little bit of color. So yeah, I'm excited to take it up a notch. So I'm going to start with my eyes. So I actually just kept them completely bare. I'm going to go in with... This is a little colour chameleon. So it's essentially like a little chubby crayon and it's a cream um, eyeshadow. So these are really lovely because you can just whack them on a bit of mascara and be done. Or I like to use it as a base underneath. So I'm not going to be neat with this. I'm just literally going to scribble it all over the lid. As I said, I'm going to take it right up just to... Looks a bit crazy. <laughs> um, just around about where my crease is and then I'm going to take a little brush it's like this one here and I'm just going to buff out the edges just now blending that out and you can see it's starting to get a little bit more of that smoky effect so I'm going to now go in with the Jane Ardell Triple Cognac. So this is going to allow me to create a little bit more of a smoky eye. So I'm actually just going to use a crease brush from Jane Ardell. These are really nice fluffy brushes that are very forgiving. This is perfect for application and blending. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the darker shade and I'm going to start building that colour in my crease of my socket just to the outer lid, just building that smoky eye. I've done both eyes now. It still looks a little bit crazy. So what I'm gonna do is, a little trick is I like to take the bronzer that I've used and a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna use this as sort of my transition set shade. So you get that like nice gradient and I'm gonna sort of overlap it just in my crease here and start blending that up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the lighter shade and I'm just going to apply it into the center. So where you've almost got this little V in the inner corner of your eye, I'm just gonna make sure that this is sitting really nicely in that area to almost open the eye up. So I'm just gonna go underneath with that pop of color. A little layer of the Mr. Cole gel to powder eyeliner along my eye line, but this time I'm gonna intensify it slightly. And the reason why I like this eyeliner so much is that it's so quick and easy to use. Anyone that's afraid of eyeliner, this is so forgiving. So it comes with a handy little brush that you set in place on the top. I'm using shade Dark Topaz, literally dipping it in the actual product itself. And then I'm simply gonna just thicken up this line. So I'm not being neat with this. Uh, smoke up my um, eye look even further now you can see now I've got my bronzer in the crease it's really given it that nice seamless blown out effect I'm going to take this is a little duo um, liner pencil from Charlotte Tilbury this is in mesmerizing rune so it's a little bit more of like a plummy purpley tone and I'm just gonna take this just on the outer edge I just want to create a little wing Oh, I say little, it'll probably be quite a big one. So I'm now going to go in and define my contour a little bit more. I'm going to use the Great Shapes palette from Jane Ardell. I'm using shade Warm. The beauty of this is that there are three colours. There is a blush tone, a bronze tone and a highlight. 
So the bronze tone I'm going to use with my blending contouring brush from Jane Ardell. And I'm just going to go under where my cheekbone sits. And I'm really going to define this now. And the number three. I love a good contour moment. Oh yes, it all comes together with contour. And then I'm actually going to take the other end, which is more of a metallic side and use that on the inner portion and actually just overlap it just to kind of blend it all in. So I'm just going to go in now with the blush tone on my apples of my cheeks to really just add a little bit of warmth. My wings need a little bit of tidying up. So the way I like to do that, guys, is I need a little bit of concealer just in the inner um, half of my eye. And then obviously you can see here, I've got a little bit of redness and I need to clean up the wings. So I'm literally just going to do a swipe on that side, pat that in, and then you can see how much that's making a difference. And I'll take whatever's left on the brush underneath. So then, like I said, you'll get minimal creasing then because you haven't got a big product build up underneath the eye. I'm now going to go all over and just intensify just some powder because I need to set everything in place again. I'm choosing the Loose Amazing Base powder from Jane Ardell in shade Golden Glow. This is now just going to give that dewy finish, but also it's going to just add a little bit of colour because at night time you may want to fake tan. You may want to fake tan in the day, but if you're fake tanning for night, you may just want to have a bit more of a coloured powder as opposed to a translucent. Looking gorgeous, Alexis. I'm loving those colours on your eyes. I love it when you do these aubergine colours. I just need them in my life. You do, Alexis. I'm going to go in with a little bit of powder. I'm not going to add any more bronzer purely because I'm going to go in with a bit of a brighter blush. Um, so I just want to obviously keep it nice and balanced. Um, going in with a bit of my powder now, just underneath set that concealer again help with any creasing i'm going to go in with some highlighter i would use highlighter in the day but for the purpose of what i did for my daytime look i didn't so i'm now going to use the peaches and cream and i'm going to use all of them because they're all shimmer shades so i'm going to get my fan brush i'm going to just dazzle when I say dazzle, this is a dazzle. <laughs> I, love I love that term. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna I'm dazzle. Just, I'm just gonna dazzle on just through the palette. <laughs> Technical terms coming out. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, brow bone. Look at that blush. So I've gone in with my favourite powder pink, hot rouge. And then for a little bit of highlight over the top, I'm going to put my Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand just on the cheeks there and go in with the same brush. Just so we can get that nice shine. Look at you glow. Glow, honey, glow. Glowing. I'm going to use my spritz hydration spray just because I've done a few layers now. So one, two, three. And it just makes the skin come alive a bit. I was fuming the other day because never guess who stole my setting spray because he got too hot. <laughs> I walked in and I Matthew was like, Matthew's my boyfriend for anyone watching. And he was spraying it. And I was like, what do you think I'm doing? I was like, oh. he's like, I was really hot because I, I used it in the summer on him when he got warm. I was like, I'll oh, just have a little spritz of this. It'll cool you down. But ever since he oh, he's like been like, oh, that's really nice. I was like, mm, mm hmm. Is it? You'll be we buying me a new one. Payback. You need to literally yeah. get like a fake tan moisturizer and say, babe, yeah. I've got this amazing new product. I think you should try it. And then it'll be well. <laughs> so the next little bit for my eyes is before I add mascara I if I think everyone should wear sparkle 
on their eyes. I just think it really takes like your eye makeup from an eight to a 10, in my personal opinion. <laughs> and Bobby Brown do these ones, but every brand probably does them. Or if there's like a, sh- a nice sparkle shade in a palette. But this is just, I don't know if you can even see. Oh, dreamy. This one's called Incandescent and it kind of reflects from pinky to gold. It's just like chef's kisses. I love it. Dreams are made of. Yeah. And with these ones, you use your finger. And then I literally just sweep it across. I'm going to try and get close. Oh. And it is literally just. If it just ups the game. Everybody at home, I bet, just did a massive gasp. Like, it, honestly, like this is my favorite favorite eyeshadow of all time so if ever you've got if you've done a liner and it's it doesn't look quite perfect adding a bit of sparkle over the top will basically smooth it all out so if you've done any mistakes you can quickly hide them amazing tip so i'm going to go in with a little bit of under eye powder now you may have seen this trick that i've done before so i'm taking a lighter shade of the pure press powder from jane ardell so this is shade warm silk I'm normally a golden glow on my face, just for anybody that knows the shades. So Warm Silk is a very universal shade. It's essentially now going to be applied underneath my eye to really brighten because in the day, I don't tend to do this because it's quite a nighttime red carpet sort of look so I'm gonna just pat it underneath because I feel like you get more of a defined dense colour when we use a sponge I love that trick it just instantly brightens it just instantly just takes it all as if we're walking down the red carpet yes so I'm now going to do a lip colour So I feel that lip colours do take your look to the next level. As Josie would say, they take you from an 8 to a 10. (laughs) Yeah. So I'm going to actually go in with more of a peachy tone today. You know I love a peachy tone anyway. But I know that some people are a red lip fan, pink lip fan. I'm actually going to use shade Devotion (gasps) from Jane Ardell. Oh my god. So these are the Beyond Matte Lip Stains. So I used Cherish in the last video. This is now a Devotion shade, which is more of a shimmer shade. So I've just outlined my liner with Spice Lip Liner. And all I'm gonna do now is add Beyond Matte. So. Oh my God, that is a dreamy colour. It's just, it's not a red. It's not a pink. And I feel like for something different, it's quite nice yeah. to just do something a bit it's a, Yeah, it's a really uplifting colour. I re- That's why I quite like peachy tones. Yeah, and I think because it's got a shimmer in it, it still makes it look like it's got a shimmer, as opposed to it being completely matte, these will actually just still look and bring it all together. So I did actually do a few stories after wearing it from our Monday makeup. I went out and walked the dog, I wore a mask because I had to go into the shops. I ate it was like four or five hours with this still staying on so that's incredible bulletproof (laughs) so if everybody's still you know working they're having to wear masks a lot and you still want a lip color which I'm sorry I always grab a lip color that's like my go-to these are industrial and I'm going in with my jewel lip gloss in blush gold Our spritz. We've just gone from day to night. Yeah, catch you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.